Tonight, a Hancock County teenager is in the hospital after a traumatic brain injury after a driver hit him and drove off. Now, Rachel Krause shows us the Pendleton community is coming together, praying for Jasper Young's speedy recovery and for the police to find the driver who hit him. I just really hope it gets better. I once was lost. Outside the doors of Pendleton Heights Middle School, a community of friends, teachers, and loved ones gather to pray. Lord, I pray that your spirit will come and fill that hospital room where Jasper is right now. Everyone's thoughts, prayers, their minds with 13 year old Jasper Young. He's a really good kid. I mean, I don't know, he's just really, he's kind. Jasper was biking Saturday night near Wilkinson when a car hit him and kept going. The 13 year old now at Peyton Manning Children's Hospital with a traumatic brain injury. It's hard, you know, kind of sucks, like, especially because it was a hit and run. That's, that's hard. I'm, I'm sad. I mean, my best friend's like, he's in the hospital. I don't, we don't really know if he's going to make it. We don't know if he's going to be okay. It's just, it's just sad. It was devastating to hear because Jasper just um, is full of light, and I couldn't imagine that this had happened and why did it happen. We are asking you, God, to please put healing on him at this time, be with the doctors who are working with him. Everyone here struggling with this dark news, knowing Jasper is a light for so many. But he's like a really funny guy. Like if I were to, he's like at a party, he'd be the light of the party, you know, but he's a great guy. Jasper is just full of life. He is the light in the room. So, and um, we just love him. Those gathered here, hoping the winds in Pendleton carry their words, their prayers to Jasper and his family in the hospital. Help them to know that there is an entire community in Pendleton who love him and are supporting him and are lifting him up to you, God. It, it means a lot. It means a lot because all these people here want Jasper to get better. I don't know if he's going to be touched by it. And hoping, too, that the person who hit Jasper and left can be found. Just hope that, um, you know, the person that has created this accident, just to lay it on their heart that they will come forward and confess that they had, you know, injured Jasper. A community coming together in prayer tonight and have police made any progress in this investigation? Well, Felicia, the Hancock County Sheriff's Department tells us they are still searching for witnesses and for information about the suspect's vehicle in the case. They say they believe the vehicle may have damage to the front, the right and the passenger side. They're asking anyone with any information about what happened to please call the sheriff's office.